Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. In this video, you're going to learn about how to set up your quadcopter motors, specifically in Betaflight. And you might be wondering, set up the motors? What does that even mean? Like, why would I have to set up the motors? Well, there are a few reasons why. Because you see, the flight controller, the brain of the quadcopter, needs to know which motor to spin up at which time. And it needs to know where that motor is. Or basically, that motor has to be in the right spot. And we need to make sure that our motors are spinning in the correct direction. So those are the two main things. Now, in this video, we're going to cover how to set up the ESC protocol, which is not very hard. We're going to cover motor order, or uh, used to be called motor mapping, and motor direction. And that's going to be how it spins. And then what you need to do if you want to uh, spin uh, props out, which is how I like to have my propellers spin. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that. The bad news is it can be kind of a complicated um or just not complicated it can be confusing and and maybe that's why your quadcopter isn't flying and maybe it's not working and you're frustrated and i totally get that uh the good news is betaflight has made it much easier but either way i'm going to walk you through it and we're going to do this together but first i need to tell you that this video is sponsored by pcb way they make custom printed circuit boards that's what pcb stands for and if you are into that, you can send them a file of your own design, of your own uh, circuit board, and they can assemble that. They have thousands of components, and they can actually put all of them on the board so that it works and is ready to rock and roll when it comes to your door. So that's a pretty cool service. If you're not into PCBs, they also offer rapid prototyping services, so you could get something injection molded or 3D printed or sheet metal bended or even CNC'd out of various materials. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, check the link down in the description of this video and tell them that I sent you if you want, but it probably won't make a difference. Okay. Now, what we have, what we're using today is this seven inch FPV drone that I bought secondhand. So it's kind of one of those things where like, you don't know exactly how it's built or what's been going on. And this could be a situation where the motors aren't working and it really is confusing to you. All right, step one, we need to determine what we're working with. So in this case, we have a four in one ESC board and it's mounted in the center of our quadcopter. That's very common. Like four in one ESCs are very, very common. Now, spoiler alert, this time it's actually been flipped over. It's been, it's been rotated in a roll orientation and it's been flipped. And that is why these motors are not spinning in the correct direction. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that once we get this connected to Betaflight. So we're gonna connect our flight controller and everything's like hooked up to everything else. Um, like the flight controller is connected to the ESC. We're going to connect our flight controller to beta flight. We're going to get into beta flight. Now, if you are uh, setting this up from a brand new profile, it's going to ask you some other questions. Like if you want to enable default settings and you want to say yes, and then it will come up with a prompt that says, Hey, your, um, ESC protocol has not been set. And so to do that, you want to go to the motors tab on the left-hand side. And then you'll see this right here where it says um, motor uh, ESC features. It'll probably say disabled at first. Um, and then you want to select the one that you want, the protocol that you want. In this case, we're doing DSHOT 600. And I found that information by going to the T-Motor, uh, the manufacturer's website uh, for this stack. And so basically look at the manual or the manufacturer uh, website, and that should give you that information. Once you do that, um, go and click save and reboot, and then come back to this page. Now, at this point, let's just kind of, you know, see what the motors are doing. And so this next step, we've already done the ESC protocol that's been D shot. And then we're going to do the motor order before we change the direction of the motors. So let's see what we're working with here. So we want to plug in a battery, make sure your propellers are not connected to your motors, like take them off completely. Okay, because we have to spin the motors. So with the battery plugged in, and we're still connected to um, Betaflight, what we want to do is go to this little uh, motor testing box. And it's going to say motor test mode slash arming notice, it's saying take off your propellers, because you might chop your fingers off, and click I understand the risks. And then it's going to give us these motor um, sliders right here. 
and we can slide the motors. And so we have motor one, two, three, and four. Now, if we look at the, in the little section that says mixer, we have a little diagram of the quadcopter and we see that the motors are one, two, three, and four. So the motors are labeled. So the goal is when we spin these uh, motors here, so I'm just gonna spin one, we want that motor to correspond with the motor in the diagram. So as it's, as it's laid out. So when I spin up motor one, we have the rear left motor is spinning. Okay. And that's not correct because we want motor one to be on the opposite side. Uh, motor two is going to be the front left and that's incorrect. We want that to be on the other side. And then motor three is going to be the opposite and motor four is going to be the opposite of that. It should be on the other side. And again, we don't care about the actual spinning direction right now. And again, the reason why these two are opposite is because the flight con or the, excuse me, the ESC board has been flipped. It's been rotated. So for whatever reason, the pilot who built this um, decided to flip the ESC upside down. Now, the great thing is we don't have to change the wire direction or, or undo the ESC or anything like that. We can do this all through software. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, get out of the uh, motor testing uh, uh, mode. So we're going to check that. I understand the risk box again, and then we're going to go down to uh, reorder motors, and that's going to be at the bottom right of the screen. Let's click on that, and then it's going to say, hey, take off your propellers again. And then um, here's the information notice. It's going to say uh, motors will spin up one by one, and you'll be able to select which motor is spinning. The battery should be plugged in. Correct ESC protocol should be selected, which we've, which we've already done. Um, this utility can only rearrange currently active motors. So more complex remapping requires a CLI resource command. And that's what I've done in the past. Past um, That's more complicated. All right, so basically we're gonna click, I understand the risks, okay? And let's click start. So you see, it says click on the spinning motor and the spinning motor is the back left motor right now. So we're gonna click on that. Now it's spinning the front left motor. We're going to click on that one on the diagram. And now it's spinning the rear uh, right motor. We're going to click on that one. And finally, the front right motor. And we're going to click on that one. And it helps if you have your quadcopter in the same orientation as what you see on the screen uh, as shown with the arrow. Um, so now it says ready. Check the motor spinning order by clicking on the image. So now we can, let's see. So we click on the motor and it's going to spin it up. And so they're all spinning correctly. So we click on that uh, motor and it spins up. So let's click save. Wow, that's loud. Okay, sorry about that. So it's gonna it's gonna restart the aircraft and save it. Um, and then, and you see I'm getting this accelerometer warning. That's um, fine because I haven't finished setting this all up. Once I get the quad like stabilized and the, the, the screws tightened down, then I'll do the uh, accelerometer uh, uh, calibration. All right, let's go back into the motors tab. And now let's check the motors again with this uh, testing mode. So let's spin up uh, motor one and it spins. All right. Uh, motor two should be the front right and it is. Motor three should be the back left and it is. And motor four is the front left. All right, so congratulations. That solved a lot of problems. Okay, so we so now we have the motor order taken care of. Let's move on to the motor direction. Now, at this point, we need to decide if we want to have our propellers spinning in or outward. And so if you look at the front of the quad, here's some propellers here. Um, if you want them to spin, um, well, let's see, are these the right propellers? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have the right propellers on here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So if you want them to spin in an outward rotation, like, spinning out away from the front and out away from the back, then that's called props out. If you want them to spin inward, like towards your camera or inward towards the tail of the uh, quadcopter, that's called props in. I like to have them spin props out because I think it keeps uh, junk from uh, getting slung onto the lens of the camera. And so, and, and as some people have other preferences, but that's how I like to have them. So we wanna make sure that the motors are spinning 
in that orientation. Now, this is this part is really important. If you decide to to use uh, reversed props or spinning props out, you want to go over to the motor mixer section, and right below that diagram, you'll see a little slider that says motor direction is reversed. You want to click that, and you see how it changes the uh, little arrows, those little um, yellow arrows. It's going to change the direction, and that's going to show you, like, yeah, you want that's that's how they should be spinning. Now, clicking this box does not actually change the motor direction. This just tells the flight controller that that is the way the motors are spinning, so it can work its magic and fly stable stably. So we want to make sure we click that, and then let's hit save and reboot. Man, that's loud. Okay. All right, let's get back in here. Let's go to the motors tab again. Okay, so now we can check the motor direction. We're gonna go into the testing mode. We're gonna start with motor one. We're gonna spin it up and it is spinning. I can just feel it with, you know, feel the motor bell with my finger. Uh, don't get your finger caught in there or anything. Uh, it is spinning props in, or if you're looking straight down, it's spinning in a clockwise rotation. We want it to spin the opposite direction. So. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, we don't even need to do that. Sorry, that doesn't even make any sense. All right, now that we're back in the motor tab, we're going to go down to the button at the bottom right, and it's going to say motor direction. We're going to click on that. It's going to give us the safety warning um, and then information notice, and it gives you the instructions on how to do that. And it says some, uh, not all D-Shot ESCs will work with this dialog. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't work for some reason, this is possibly why. All right, so we're going to say, yes, I understand the risks. And you can do a wizard thing where it's guided or you can do individually. Let's go ahead and do the guided version. And so it's going to say, um, so we're, we're going to start spinning the motors. Okay, click on motor numbers individually to change spin direction. Verify all motors are spinning correctly. So what we can do is um, let's just start with one and we'll go through them all. So motor number one is spinning the wrong way. It's spinning clockwise. We want to change that. So let's click on number one. It stopped the motor and now it's spinning in the opposite direction. So that's good. Uh, motor number two, the front right motor, that's spinning in the correct direction, which is clockwise for in, in how I want these props to be set up. And, you, and it does show this little diagram and which way the props should be spinning since we have it set up for reversed. Let's go to motor three. That is spinning in the correct direction as well. And then motor four is spinning in the wrong direction. It's spinning like props in. We want it to spin props out. So let's click on number four. And there we go. Now it's spinning in the correct direction. Okay, so then we'll hit stop motors and then close. And is there, can we hit save and reboot? Is that an option? All right, now let's go over to the motor test thing right here and we'll spin up the motor. And it, yeah, it's going the right way. Okay, we can click on the slide, do the master slider and slide all of them. And check them. Yes, so they are all spinning in the correct direction. So um, that's it. I think that's it. So we, we don't have the option to save and reboot. So I guess it just automatically saved it. Um, so that's great. All right, so that that's it, that's it actually. So congratulations, you should have your quadcopter working properly. Um, now the next thing is uh, we would want to check and make sure that the motor responds properly um, based on our control inputs. And that, that's kind of a separate thing because this should be like the baseline, like we, the flight controller now understands uh, which motors are where and that the motors are in the correct spot and that they're spinning in the correct direction. So this is kind of the baseline thing. That's all we're gonna do in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about setting up your quadcopter and getting the motors right, leave a comment down below and hopefully I or someone else will be able to help you. Thanks for watching. Get out there and fly something and I'll see you next time. We'll get, I mean, we get bars, we get our goggles.